Hello! Today we're going to be talking about The Infinite Sea by Ray Kiansi. This is the sequel to The Fifth Wave, and if you don't already know, <laughs> I love that book so much. And I was so excited to get this one, and I was shocked when I got it actually, because this is 300 pages and it's tiny. And The Fifth Wave wasn't necessarily really thick, but for like a tall book with like reasonably sized text. It was 500 pages long, okay? It was a long book, and this one's just tiny, so it was really weird. I think this is more of like a stepping stone, like the first one's a main book, and the last one will be a very main book, and this is just trying to get from one to the other. Because not really a lot happened, but it's still enjoyable, and it's still good. I can't really tell you what it's about, because it's a sequel. You can go watch my, ooh, review for The Fifth Wave, if you like, because I got a little synopsis for you there. If you want to know what this is about, I highly recommend. I love The Fifth Wave. And this one was okay, so non spoily section over. I'm spoiling the book. Go away if you haven't read it. I cannot wait for book three. I am so excited. It's gonna be so good. So much is gonna happen. I read this book a million between years ago, so I can't really remember what happened, so you have to bear with me. Uh, so I read half of it as soon as it came out, and then something happened. I can't remember what. And then I picked it back up New Year's Eve slash day. I literally finished it like one o'clock in the morning, New Year's Day. The prologue, I was so confused reading that. Like, what? 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 <laughs> I didn't get it and I was kind of like, something bad's gonna happen but I don't want something bad to happen and then something CO2 recognised bomb thing that little boy and it just when finally went on to it and just <sighs> intense just <sighs> ringer we are reading from ringer's pov at some points now i don't know what to make of this because she's she's pretty awesome like she's like unstoppable and amazing and ringer and she's just yeah and i really liked her in the first one but i'm not sure her and Cassie kept button heads because I think they're too alike and I mean I'm on Cassie's side so she described in the first book about this cord that connects one to the victim or the silver cord or whatever it was Evan and Vosh both knew about this cord everybody kept describing this cord before anyone had said so that kind of makes me not trust Ringer. There's something weird, fishy about that and I don't think Rick would kind of make that mistake. <sighs> I don't like these little tidbits that they do. It's just that whole situation is fishy. And then there's also, I didn't really pick this up but I read this ages ago. So I was watching reviews and whatnot online and someone said how there's a conversation with Cassie and Ringer at the beginning and Ringer gives you a little bit of the conversation then later on you see the same conversation from Cassie's point of view and it turns out that it was this whole thing and they were having this like showdown whatever is that is that more hintage that we can't trust Ringer because I'm happy not trusting Ringer I don't trust her <laughs> ha I don't like it when the person you're reading from hides things from you and keeps secrets from you I don't I've had that happen to me where I was reading a book and then all of a sudden out of the blue they put out this piece of information it's like why are you just telling me this now why have you been keeping this to yourself this whole time if you're in their head and they're keeping information from you it makes me feel really uneasy I trusted her more with Ben I miss being from in Ben's point of view because he's he's very annoying now that we're on the outside he kept annoying me and bugging me I'm just kidding like if I could see his thought process maybe it wouldn't annoy me so much I really liked reading from his POV in the first book, but now he's kind of dying and stuff. Cup was so annoying throughout this whole thing. She just, especially in the beginning, like, get over yourself, dude. How old is she? She's like seven. <sighs> just so annoying. Why would you run after her? Like, people kept nearly dying like every two seconds. Evan, Cup, Ringer, Ben, Pancake kept being so close, like the very verge of death, and then they would miraculously survive it kept... <gasps> Sammy did you believe her? I believed her but then I didn't believe her that grace <laughs> die 
hopefully she's dead hopefully how could she survive i have a really bad feeling that she did survive that i don't think she could so we kept having these little splurges of pound cake back when he was with his mum and his brother and it was so upsetting and so intense just what humanity has come to and the oh it was it was sad i didn't like reading those bits i, I cried when he had found out that his brother left and he's just like just the thought of a little like toddler wandering the streets oh when evan came i was freaking out when she was in the shaft and men didn't come because i thought someone had come but i didn't think it was evan i thought it was someone that was there to kill them <sighs> evan was talking about his travels and how he was on his way and how he kept outsmarting grace i mean evan's pretty amazing just he finally he comes up to this hotel and it kind of clicks up oh it's him well he did something to ben i i swear because at first i thought ben was dead and i was like no ben could not be killed off that easily i seriously thought ben was dead but no he was just knocked out or whatever the 12th system thingy of bear how they have these when they describe it as like bugs or something like that like some kind of like living organism and it makes them like super strong really hard to kill and like and like don't get diseases and stuff and evan kept talking about how his system was failing and at the time i kind of thought it was something along those lines just thought it was like some kind of protection the alien put up in the bodies and that it was kind of like crashing and i thought he was gonna like die though that the alien inside of him would just kind of like not work or function inside the body anymore when evan finally does come to the hotel everyone keeps hating on him and being really mean to him and he saved your life Ben was really horrible to him, but Ben met him in the end of the last book and understood that he was helping Cassie. I don't understand. He was grateful to him then. Oh, I don't understand why everyone's been so mean to him. Even Cassie's been really mean to him. Oh, everyone's just really injured and everyone keeps dying and it's just so desperate and sad and so different to the first book because in the first book everyone was well and kicking butt and doing good and now they're kind of not so yeah it's this really weird mix of horror and humor and craziness and it's just it messes with your brain and it's really weird and it's kind of uncomfortable because it's kind of twisted but then it's also really scary and like really like the atmosphere is just really chilling and then it's also really funny so it kind of makes you hilarious not hilarious hysterical it makes you hysterical reading it it's just half of it is this action craziness about them fighting and the stupid bomb in the girl's throat and <laughs> the banter her telling him to shut up so funny and the 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 thing flying over them stopped breathing and then the other half of it is just this mind bogglingly craziness the rats how much sense did that make and it's just ah these aliens came down nowhere else to live saw us saw that we were destroying our own planet and thought well, should we live with these vermin or kill them before they destroy our planet. Just like the rats. They tried to kill the rats because they were eating at the hotel, but they were there first, so. And then it's kind of like, what's the difference though? The difference is, is that rats are rodents, but to to them, we are rodents. Okay, the difference is that it's a whole planet we're talking about, not just a hotel, but that hotel was all the rats had. Like, I, uh, what makes them think that they are better than us? And the same that makes us think that we're better than rats, so this is what I'm really struggling with because they literally have a point like we are no different whatsoever the difference is is that rats don't have feelings <laughs> and we have feelings just I hate them so much and then there's this whole rock ordeal and i think this came to my mind once or twice about how they could easily just send down a rock kill us all like with the dinosaurs why don't they just do that why are they playing the sick game see i thought they were playing the sick game because they're sick and twisted and they enjoy watching us squirm turns out it's something not like that it was hinted that there aren't actually any aliens excuse me so i'm hoping it's along the lines of there's aliens up there but these aliens aren't actually in human bodies they have this 12 system and all this fun stuff and they've kind of like been hypnotized do we think that they are aliens when they are actually not and like been given memories or something like that but then i don't know how that would work because evan did that thing with cassie and when she felt all warmth and they were kind of like one at one in that moment do you remember so i'm not sure how that would work and then there's this whole possibility that aliens just aren't even here and that is we're doing this to ourselves and i mean there's so many different things you can 
like terrorists or or the government there could be like crazy people just screwing with us if if it turns out that there's not actually aliens i'm gonna be so mad like ah, i just just no no but it's okay because cassie knows how to end it and she's gonna end it well at least we think it's gonna be her it might be someone else but we know how to end it so you know fingers crossed what is going on i just i don't like the mystery i need to know what's happening what's with gray she must be special some kind is she like some kind of is she like a real alien and like no one else is real aliens or is she some kind of like mother or queen or what like she's special somehow don't know how i really loved razor the relationship was really like disturbing but really beautiful and i loved it so much the very end with cassie and evan so glad that it's not gonna have to be you have to go out and find each other again that they're actually together and the feels and i can't actually remember what it's about but i remember feeling just oh razor at the end he just saved the day he shot Vosh, didn't he he shot someone and then cup got shot i'm pretty sure though maybe Vosh. razor's dead cup's dead pretty sure Vosh is dead as well Ringer made it out alive though and she's also gonna go and meet up with the rest of them. Wasn't, didn't see it coming. Mind blown. Ringer is so cool now that she, she has this like 12 system thing inside her. She's unstoppable and I just love reading about that kind of thing, you know, when they're just like super duper cool and they're practically unstoppable. Yeah. However, Cassie is the best. I kept wondering whether I like Ringer more or Cassie more. And like whose side I'm on, definitely Cassie's though, because it's Cassie and Cassie's also an amazing and I love her. I miss being inside Ben's head. Now that I'm not inside his head, he's kind of bugging me. Like I want to see his thought process because I really liked reading from his point of view. And I don't like reading from Ringo's point of view as much as I liked Ben or Cassie. So I wonder what's gonna happen in the next book. Cassie and Evan, maybe? Maybe Evan. Apparently there's some test thingy and that was the only thing I predicted. Other than that I was just... <sighs> it's so weird to see what humanity has come to and how it's all desolate and there's no one there and it's so hard to, to survive. And the fate of the world is essentially left in these teenagers and <sighs> it's so good. I'm ready for a showdown like stuff's gonna go down it's gonna be awesome i'm so excited to see what happens and what's going on and just have everything explained and then of course see what actually happens i didn't like it as much as i liked the fifth wave the fifth wave i really liked this one was enjoyable but like in terms of like the content and it was still mind-boggling and crazy and the writing was still amazing. I just feel like the fifth wave was so cleverly thought out. And I just thought it was absolutely phenomenal. And it just wasn't living up to the hype. So I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Which is still pretty good. Just not the 10 out of 10 that I gave the fifth wave. Yes, the covers kind of don't match. Like, there was this picture. And again, it fits the theme of the book really well. Just like the first one did. Although I'm not exactly sure what the picture's of. Do I have lipstick on my two things? They don't exactly match. Do you see what I mean? Like, this one's kind of like glowing and this one's just kind of like not. Can't wait for the last one, I'm so excited. This one was phenomenal, this one was really enjoyable. Last one's gonna be amazing, I feel it. If not, I'm gonna cry. The song is a uh, short change hero, what's it called? It's called Short Change Hero by The Heavy. I hope you have an awesome morning, afternoon, evening, slash night. My name's Jade. I hope we see you again next time. Bye. Just gonna repeat myself five more times, shall I? My lipstick is refusing to stay on my lips. I'm actually having to hold my eyes open. They hurt so bad where I've not slept within the last 24 hours. Ben's not so much more likable. What? That'll do, donkey.